Thank you, Chancellor Henderson. Hi, everyone. <laughs> President Aoun, distinguished guests, faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates, good afternoon. My name is Clara Wu, and it is my honor to speak today on behalf of the Northeastern class of 2023. I remember being a high school senior, excited but nervous about this college experience adults insisted would be the best years of my life. That's a lot of pressure to put on four or five years. But just a couple months back, my fencing teammates and I were wolfing down cold pizza after destroying BU. <laughs> We laughed to the point of tears, and as I tried not to choke on room temperature cheese, I thought to myself, yeah, they were right. These are the best times of my life. At Northeastern, not only have I met great friends and teammates, but I've gotten to study topics I love. I went from mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell to this is how my brain perceives everything. From the color of tree blossoms on Centennial to the taste of a sandwich from Rebecca's. May she rest in peace. <laughs> I've also gotten to do meaningful work where I can come home after a long day and know I made a real impact. I was recently at my weekly volunteer position where I cuddle babies in a neonatal intensive care unit. I cradled a wailing newborn suffering from withdrawal in my arms. Soon he began to relax and drift to sleep. I thought, I am so lucky. I am really out here helping. I want you to think back to a time perhaps when you were on co-op or studying abroad, when you felt that you had grown up, started contributing. Appreciate everything you did leading up to that point, learning from all the experiences, successes and failures. We have grown so much, even in the face of one shared obstacle in particular. March 14th. 2020. I was sitting in the Stwest dining hall when we got the email. Northeastern had moved online due to the coronavirus pandemic and we were sent home. Freshman year was over. As I moved out, part of me was just really excited to get some extra vacation and to hug my parents. But soon our class saw plans fall through. Global experiences canceled. We worried about the health of our family members. And for many international students, there was no choice but to leave America while classes continued in an opposite time zone. Through these trials, I saw how we kept moving, doing our best to work online, find time to get outside, and to grow up as we faced a defining period of this century. For many of us, when the pandemic hit, it was time to embark on our first co-op. While my friends at other colleges languished in Zoom classes all year, we set off to work. We navigated constantly changing work environments as businesses moved online. Problems required creative solutions. Some of us even stepped up to the front lines to work in intensive care units, psychiatric hospitals, and ambulances. And during these challenges, I have been so impressed to see my classmates become budding economists, writers, and engineers. Now that we're graduating, I know we will enter demanding careers and continue to do important work. More challenges will come, but we know how to step up to challenges. Now, this would typically be the point where I drop some wisdom on you but I'm just 21 and have little wisdom. 
Fortunately, I have grandparents. So today, I would like to pass on some valuable advice from them. My grandpa, Wu Chung Kang, always reminded me to treasure my family. These relationships are the most valuable thing in life. We are just starting off on our careers now, and when struggles come, we should focus on supporting our loved ones and be willing to lean on them in times of need. Sometimes we may need to compromise between family and career, but don't be afraid to put family first. Beyond our responsibilities to family, there are other principles that guide our decision making. Whatever your value system may be, stay true to those principles. My grandpa Carl says, if you find yourself compromising your values, invariably it will come back to bite you. So when you're making a decision, do something you can still be proud of tomorrow. Rank your priorities, look at the information in front of you, and stick to your values with every move. Before I go, I just want to emphasize how grateful I am to be graduating college today. During my senior year, I got to take some English and history classes. And as I read firsthand narratives by people who endured wars and slavery, I found myself thinking how rare it is to have what I have. Among other privileges, I have an education and I will not waste it. Philosopher Herbert Spencer said, the great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. You are Northeastern graduates, so I don't even need to inspire you to go off and make a difference. You've already hit the ground running, and I can't wait to see what you do next.